Hello, welcome to SharePoint Journey. I am Devendra Viligenla. In this demo, you're gonna learn how to get the current list item details in SharePoint 2013 workflows. We're gonna use this workflow within the app, but you can do the same thing in the sandbox solution, which can be deployed to Office 365 site, even the on-premise as well. And also, we're gonna use some of the activities that is called lookup sp list item and also the other thing is get dynamic value properties these two are the activities we are going to work with to get the current item details within the list so let's go ahead and open the visual studio and create a new app project i'm going to name this one as first ship point app click OK and this is my developer site URL where I'm gonna deploy this app and I'm gonna select this as SharePoint hosted app click finish to create the SharePoint hosted project provide the credentials to log in here okay uh, in the in the project let's go ahead and add a list click add new item add a list definition I'm gonna name this one as customers click add and choose a default custom list as a list definition click finish it will create a list definition uh, with the customers okay let's add client representative field which is of type personal group okay so what we're going to do is we're going to just read the customer name just rename the title as customer name okay and we're going to read these two details within the workflow okay so now let's create a folder name it as workflows from here right click add new item and we'll just choose the workflow and name this one as get customer details okay so the, this is the workflow name now it's going to ask what is the type of the workflow so i'm going to choose it as a list workflow and i'm going to associate the customer list and create new workflow to history list and also create new the task list click next i want to start this one whenever item is created and also whenever the item is changed click finish now it's going to create a workflow for us now you could see that by default you will have a jaml file and you will have a task list and also the history list i'm going to move everything to the workflows folder okay cool. so now by default you could see that you have a sequence let me open the toolbox here so for he if you open the toolbox here you have a lot of activities uh, related to list task user and everything so what we are more interested in is on the list activities one of them is lookup sp list item so just drag that one to main sequence okay now if you see this bubble so we haven't updated some of the details so let's go ahead and add, change the properties now visual studio tools provides all these details what should be the item id list id so just choose the current item and here I can say customers and the result need to be as a dynamic value so what I'm gonna do here is okay customer details this will be the dynamic value property so just click OK now we don't have that variable yet so I'm gonna create one so if you come back to here under the variables and just 
name that one as get customer variables and this should be dynamic variable so go to variable type and you could browse for the various types but by default you could see boolean in string object okay, browse for the types and look for dynamic value so click ok now it was set to a dynamic value within the scope of main sequence now you don't see that error anymore now let's go ahead and add get properties but here if you click on just get properties link here it's gonna add a dynamic value properties link which will set to a source of get customer details by default now for this activity we have to define what are the properties we're gonna read it so let's click on the define tab here and you could see that it was assigned to list of customers now what we need was what is the customer name okay just choose the customer name and also the next one is the client representative just choose that as well mm, yep here it is and once you define the path from the list so what you could do is you could create the variables here or you could click on populate variables which will create the variables automatically so just click on populate variables so it has created two variables and assign these values to these variables click ok now if you see the variable section you would see customer name client representative both has been added so always this user details will be written as an id so don't worry about that so let's go ahead and write these details to write to history using write to history to workflow history list so what i'm going to do here is customer name is customer name dot to string then the next one is we need to have client representative which is client representative dot to string okay click okay okay now there is no warning now we have used lookup sp list item activity and also get dynamic value properties activity to read the values and we have defined the values so what we could do is let's go ahead and rebuild it and see if we have any errors all succeed let's go ahead and deploy this app okay it was installed at sites developer site and fast sharepoint app so i can just browse directly from here or i can open the developer site just refresh it to see the latest app here it is just click on that one sharepoint app so it has just redirected me to the sharepoint hosted app okay and what i could have done here is I could go to app manifest.xml and change the default page to list slash customers. So whenever we deploy this app and when we open this app, it will just open the list directly rather than the SharePoint site. Now uh, it was installed here. So let's go back to the SharePoint site, refresh it and click on the one sharepoint app it will just open the list of customers you could see the title customer representative let's add a new item here okay. i'm gonna say customer one and representative would be let's say approver okay click save now we have saved the details let's go back and see what is our flow status it's completed click on the 
it will state us to see the workflow history details. Now here in the workflow history list I could see that the customer name is customer1 and client representative is 13. So it's returning basically the ID here. Okay. So in this demo you have seen how to get the current list of item details using a lookup SP list item activity and also get dynamic value properties activity. Thank you for watching this session. For watching more videos, please log on to SharePointJourney.com.